Today's video is about what you should be doing with your knee after you have meniscus repair surgery. So what is the meniscus? The meniscus is a piece of cartilage in the knee. There's actually two pieces, one on the inside and one on the outside of each knee. And these pieces of cartilage help pad the connection between the thigh bone, the femur, and the shin bone, the tibia. And this cartilage is frequently torn, especially in sports and work-related injuries. A common example, the knee gets twisted awkwardly or people step down or come down from a jump somewhat awkwardly. And those pieces of cartilage get caught and torn. Now, a really common treatment for this still and in the past is something called a meniscectomy, where the surgeon uh, cuts out the little torn flappy piece of the cartilage. And this really helps restore range of motion to the joint, helps decrease pain, and sometimes is the only treatment available because a lot of the cartilage really can't heal, so there's no point in trying to preserve those parts of the cartilage. The problem is now you're left with less padding and now the knee is much more likely to develop arthritis over time. So when parts of the cartilage are torn that do have healing potential, we're usually best off repairing that piece rather than cutting it away. Well, this has implications for therapy after surgery because we need to preserve that repair. We need to protect that repair. As a result, we have to introduce range of motion, weight bearing, strengthening in a very graduated manner to make sure we don't disrupt the repair. And that's what today's video is all about. Before I start on the exercises, let's talk about weight bearing. Weight bearing has to be restricted after a meniscus repair surgery. And that very much depends on precisely the type of repair that was done. So you do have to work with your surgeon and therapist on precisely what you need to do. But generally speaking, you're gonna be in a brace, it's gonna be locked straight when you put any weight on the leg, and you'll start out with about 25% of your body weight, okay? So that's the weight-bearing piece, and that will progress a bit over time. Our first exercise we call a quad set. We almost always need to do this after a knee surgery because the quadricep muscle will shut down a bit after the knee is cut open, okay? So you got a rolled up towel under the knee, you're simply gonna clench your thigh muscle. You're trying to squish the towel with the back of your knee. Hold that for a count of 10 and do that 20 times. So a really purposeful, hard contraction. Relax, repeat 20 times. Now the other thing I'll tell patients is this whole program, do about three times per day. You can break up the exercises however you want, but frequency is a big key. The next exercise is what we call an assisted heel slide. We're working on knee bending, but only to a point. This is one of those movements we have to restrict to protect that repair. So best if you're on a slippery floor like the kitchen floor, you're simply gonna pull the heel towards you, bending your knee, but stop at 90 degrees. Hold for just a second or two, straighten out. The reason we're using the towel is also to protect that repair we don't want to engage the hamstrings a lot. We don't want them pulling on the knee, pulling on that meniscus a little bit. So we're helping out with this towel. So pull with your hand, bend the knee, only to the 90 degrees, straighten out. About 20 repetitions, again about three times per day. Next, we want to work on stretching the calf. The calf muscles can get stiff while we're not able to use this leg in kind of a normal way. So simply wrap a towel around the ball of the foot, knee is straight, simply give a pull on the towel until you feel some pull, some stretch in your calf muscles. Hold for about 20, 30 seconds, three or four times. We just got done stretching the calf muscles. We also don't want to forget about strength in our calf muscles. Again, while we're not able to use this leg kind of in a typical way because we're protecting that repair, we want to do whatever leg muscle strengthening we can to preserve as much as we can. So we're simply going to do calf strengthening with this rubber band. Prop the heel up or the leg up so the heel is off the floor and simply push the toe down, the toes down against the band, up and down about 20 to 25 repetitions, two to three sets. As I mentioned, we want to maintain as much leg strength as we can while we're limited in our exercises and our movement in our effort to, to protect that repair. So one of the exercises we often utilize is a leg raise, and we'll do multiple directions. So in our first try, we're gonna do a straight leg raise into hip flexion, basically toward the front. So clench the thigh, lift straight up. 
Now, sometimes people really can't do this. They can't keep their knee straight while they lift the leg, you know, so that as they lift up, it looks kind of like that. If that's the case for you, skip this exercise or put your brace on, keep it locked straight. Now the brace is helping you and then you can lift the leg. In that case, the hip is working more. That's fine for now. It's, it's not a perfect solution, but it, it's still helpful. And if you can do 10 to 20 of these, that would be great. Next, we're simply gonna do another version of the leg raise, this time to the side. So we're now mostly working the side of the hip, we're, but we're still trying to maintain as much leg strength as we can while our breadth of exercises is limited to protect that repair. So in this case, my left leg is the injured leg. I'm simply gonna lay on my right side, lift the leg up and down. Now notice I'm not lifting really high, okay? My movement is purposeful. I'm not moving in a haphazard way. Little pause at the top. If you can do 10 to 20 of these, you're doing all right. We need to work on knee straightening. Often after this surgery, folks struggle to regain their knee extension or straightening. And here's one of my favorite exercises for that. Simply prop the heel up on something, my bench or a chair, the coffee table, and then do one of those quadriceps sets that we started the program with. Clench the thigh muscle. This will push the knee down into straightening. Hold this for 10 seconds. Relax. Clench the thigh muscle. The knee will push itself down. Hold 10 seconds. Relax. Do 10 of these. So that's my phase one post-op home exercise program for my patients who've undergone a meniscus repair. Be sure to work with your surgeon and therapist on what's best for you because again, the progression very much depends on the type of repair that was done, the type of tear that occurred. And some tears have to progress more slowly than others. These are the exercises that typically apply to folks for about the first three weeks after surgery. But again, work with your healthcare providers on what's best for you. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it helps you get back to what you love to do. Like, subscribe, share this video with a friend, and we'll see you next time.